a massive police database of allegedly 1 billion Chinese citizens is being sold online. A billion. That that might be the biggest data leak in history. <laughs> about, an, about an eighth of the planet, roughly about an eighth of the planet, uh, just got doxxed. God damn. Uh, the sample files contain a trove of crime reports, including cases of looting, fraud, and illegal hand jobs. Uh, an anonymous hacker is selling a massive database that allegedly contains the personal information of a billion Chinese citizens, so more than two thirds of the country's population. In a recent post on the cybercrime site breach, for, uh, site breach forums, a user going by China Dan. <laughs> claimed to offer more than 23 terabytes of data for 10 Bitcoin, which is around $200,000. I mean, bargain, if you ask me. Uh, the trove of data was allegedly leaked from a Shanghai police database. The data breach, which would be unprecedented in scale if true, has renewed concerns about the vast information that Chinese authorities collect from its citizens and the room for abuse when it falls into the wrong hands. I mean, Ch Chinese authorities collecting... Uh, massive amounts of data on all of its citizens i i could have told you that like i mean that was we didn't really need proof did we we, we didn't really need proof that china does that uh if legitimate it would be one of china's largest data breaches uh, albert shang a cyber i don't know if it's pronounced but i don't really care a cyber policy expert at the think tank australian strategic policy institutes told vice world news the user released 750,000 records, a fraction of the supposed data, as a sample. Or, uh, as a sample, uh, one of three files contained the names, phone numbers, addresses, national ID numbers, birthplaces, and birthdays of 250,000 people across the country. Some entries also include their education level and marital status, which is. Yep, you can do a lot of damage with all that information. Uh, another file listed 250,000 reports of crime to Shanghai authorities. They include cases of looting, online fraud and domestic abuse, as well as offences as petty as a 43-year-old getting an illegal hand job for 50 yuan, uh, about $7.50, at a bathhouse in 2004. A $7.50 hand job, that is a bargain. That is a bargain. <laughs> That, that is a bargain, $7.50 for a hand job. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Asian women's hands are tidy and they, they, can't, they can't really do it properly. <laughs> the, the, Vice World News uh, reached out to over a thousand people uh, whose numbers are listed in the leak. They actually called the people on the leak, okay. Uh, all three people who responded to the queries confirmed the information in their police report. One man confirmed his daughter-in-law was swindled out of nearly 1,500 won after purchasing fake plane tickets online in 2015. Another woman said that she reported a robbery at her flat in 2019, as the leaked document stated. Among the three victims Vice World News spoke to, only one was aware of the data breach, but he did not realise it included his report of a stolen vehicle in 2010. If a case as old as mine can be dug out, I am indeed worried about my privacy and the potential abuse of the sensitive data, he said. I hope something can be done about it, but containing the damage would be very difficult. Vice World News also corroborated the names and phone numbers of another four people with the name verification function <clears throat> in Alipay transfer and their WeChat contacts. Damn. Uh, Yi uh, Fushuan, I have no idea, uh, a demographer at the University of Wisconsin-Madison had been combing through the sample data he identified from his home country on the central provinces of Hunan who adopt generation names according to their genealogy. He also found records of acquaintances in the neighbouring village. The data covers almost every county in China, including ones in remote areas in Tibet or along the border with India. He told Vice World News, it shows the information is likely authentic and not fabricated. On the same site, the hacker has also implicated Alibaba Cloud as the host of the Shanghai Police Database and the source of the leak. The Alibaba group said it was aware of the incident and was investigating. Uh, though some of the published information has proven to be real, Shang warned that there is no way to verify the full data set and scams are common on such forums. He also found it suspicious that the hacker asked for a payment in Bitcoin as opposed to cryptocurrencies that are less traceable and often used by other criminals. That is interesting. 
You don't think it's a Chinese government honeypot, do you? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Is that something they would do? Probably is something they would do. However, that'd be funny if it was. Uh, however, the disclosure of the sensitive data in the sample alone has warranted fears about the wide-reaching consequence should it be obtained by cyber criminal organizations or ransomware groups. The publicly released sample could be used by anyone to create fake identity documents, scam other individuals and organizations, and possibly lead to further leaks of corporate and government databases, Zhang said. The uh, digital rights and cybersecurity experts also say it is ironic that the source of the database seemed to be the Chinese government, which has been concerned about data security and sought to restrict private companies' collection of consumer data last year with expansive rules. The state itself is not subject to these same regulations because, of course, it's not. Uh, data protection laws are designed mainly to rein in private companies, but ensure exceptions for the state to continue to harvest data for techno-authoritarian growth, said Michael Castor, Asia Digital Program Manager at the UK-based Human Rights Group, Article 19. Which, yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, though China operates an increasingly sophisticated surveillance system, the police's growing collection of intelligence compounds the risk that people face. Despite methods to step up security of servers, the surest way to protect populations against massive leaks of their personal data is to stop both private and state actors alike from gathering it in the first place, Castor added. Yes, because no nothing can be stolen if there's nothing to steal. Yes, very smart. Intelligent. What a common sense opinion. It's really strange that governments don't arrive at that conclusion. But that is unlikely to happen given China's obsession with harnessing data as a tool for control because China. Uh, despite the legitimate concerns about privacy that people in China sincerely hold and the passing of laws to crack down on the private sector's collection, sale and use of personal data, China's government structure demands poor data security, Dakota Carey, a non-resident fellow with the Atlantic Council's China Hub, told Vice World News. For instance, WeChat, China's most popular messaging app, is unencrypted, which allows the Chinese government to read and censor even private messages. In fact, Chinese social media sites like Weibo has scrubbed posts about the leak and censored a related hashtag by Monday after it briefly trended. Yeah, Weibo is completely controlled by the Chinese. Weibo is Chinese Twitter. Chinese people are not allowed on our Twitter. They have to use Weibo. And uh, the Chinese government has an entire building full of people that monitor Weibo or Weibo or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, if China's censors are successful at deleting related content, most Chinese citizens may never know the breach occurred, Kerry said. However, that was the plan the entire time. Now, if this, if this genuinely is real, this would be one of the, this would be one of the uh, biggest leaks in history, I would say. You know, one billion people. One billion people, I mean, god damn, that is, a, that is a leak. That is a hell of a leak, man, if any of that stuff is real. However, it's like, th th this is something that we all knew. Ch Chinese, the Chinese state is like, it makes records of what people had for fucking breakfast every morning. It spies on its people so fucking much. It is, it is a big brother state with how much uh, surveillance it carries out on its own people. So the fact that they have such data on all their citizens, I am not the tiniest bit surprised. However, and it, but however, it came back to like massively bite them in the arse. The problem is, uh, will the Chinese government learn its lesson from this? <laughs> of course it fucking won't. 